Good evening. I'm Colin Deaver. Tonight on 9 on 9, we are talking about the 98th edition of the Battle of I-10. For the first time since 2019, UTEP and New Mexico State will renew their rivalry on the football field this Saturday at Aggie Memorial Stadium in Las Cruces. It's the biggest game of the year, so we brought in some big guests, the athletic directors for each university, UTEP's Jim Center and New Mexico State's Mario Mocha. Let's get started. This is 9 on 9. Welcome into KTSM's 9 on 9. This evening we are talking the 98th Battle of I-10. I am Colin Deaver here with you. And joining me tonight are the athletic directors for both UTEP and New Mexico State. For the Miners, Jim Center, and for the Aggies, Mario Mocha. First off, gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me. It's, it's a big week for both of these teams. Obviously, it's the first time that this game's even been played since 2019. Reasons outside of everybody's control. Obviously, Mario, the Aggies weren't able to play uh, in the fall last year due to COVID-19. But because of that, Jim, I'm going to start with you on this. It just seems like there's so much more excitement, you know, surrounding this year's game. Um, what do you feel like we missed by not playing last year? Well, for, first of all, we were really looking forward to, you know, having uh, the Aggies in in, uh, in the Sun Bowl a year ago. So it was a it was uh, really disappointing not to be able to play that game. Our kids look forward to it. Our coaches look forward to it. Uh, I think on both sides. So. It, you know, COVID's really taken, uh, taken a lot out of everybody, and everybody's continued to fight through it. But we're really looking forward to getting back on the gridiron against New Mexico State this year. Yeah, Mario, what about you? Well, you know, it's going to be about 650 days since we've had a game uh, in Aggie Memorial Stadium. And then, you know, to be able to start out with the Battle of I-10. I mean, this is the 98th uh, installment of our rivalry. I mean, that's a heck of a way to uh, to have a, a re-coming out party. But um, as everybody knows, we didn't get to really have a season. We played two games um, in the Sun Bowl last year uh, in the spring. Uh, so we're unbelievably excited to be able to lace them up from the student athletes, the coaches. And I know a lot of our fans are excited to be able to come out and actually watch some college football in Las Cruces, which they haven't had uh, the ability to do in a long, long time. No doubt about that. You, know, you guys are both former athletes and coaches yourselves. And, you know, there's that cliche that you always say, the first game, especially against a rival, will dictate the rest of the season. Uh, Jim, do you think that's a reality for your program this year in year four with uh, Coach Dana Dimmel? Well, certainly this is a really big year for Coach. It's his fourth year, and I think he's been working diligently on building the program, uh, adding depth, adding talent. Uh, they're really excited about getting the game played, obviously. Uh, it's always nice to, uh, to play a rivalry game. I'm not sure everybody wants to start out with a rivalry game on the first one. Sure. But nonetheless, uh, this will be a great game. I know both teams will compete, and it should be a pretty exciting matchup. And Mario, you touched on it, you know, not playing uh, any home football games in 650 days. You played the two spring games in the Sun Bowl last year. Um, first true home game that New Mexico State really in any sport has been able to host with fans in two years. How big is this, is this going to be for you guys? Have you forgotten how to host an athletic event with fans in Las Cruces? You know, it's interesting because a lot of our staff has been kind of retraining ourselves, even the longtime vets, you know, video board, uh, getting all the personnel in the right places. You know, as, as Jim knows, there's a lot of moving parts uh, to hosting a game from concessions to merchandise to police to tailgating and, and a million other things, suites and, you know, your, your higher end areas. So um, uh, we'll be ready. You know, I, I hate to put um, I know that it's a great game for the fans because it starts out with a rival, but I hate to put like this will dictate the rest of the season. This is one game. It is a big game, uh, but at the end of the day, we won't make more than it is other than the first game. Sure. And I want to follow up with both of you, actually, um, you know, started with Mario, just because of every, you know, the situation that it was last year for New Mexico State, you know, not being able to play games mm -hmm. at home. How did that partnership um, for you guys kind of come together for you to play games at the Sun Bowl, to play games, uh, basketball games at the Don Haskins Center? And um, how did that come together for you guys? You guys kind of teaming up on that? Yeah, well, it's, it's good that, uh, you know, Jim and I have a relationship. So we reached out. Uh, he has a similar um, um, situation on his campus and ours where you don't maybe necessarily control all of the facilities. So he certainly endorsed um, uh, the ability for the Aggies to play, which is huge. I know Dana Dimmel uh, talked to Coach Martin and he endorsed and hey, I'm, I'm for this. So your uh, young people have an opportunity. Um, you know, we worked with um, the proper people at the uh, Don Haskins Center uh, and the Sun Bowl and at the other locations, volleyball, soccer, and it all worked out uh, outstanding. So, you know, from uh, the Aggies, you know, to whether it's athletic director Jim Center, whether it's Heather Wilson, uh, the president, we certainly, um, you know, have a big thanks because it gave our, our young people an opportunity not just to compete, but to come home and spend the night in their own beds, which is really huge. You know, I, I think one of the things that uh, 
uh, I'd be remiss without saying is there's great, uh, I think, synergy and respect for uh, in between our presence of our respective campuses, as well as, uh, as Mario said, my, myself and, and him. And uh, it's really neat because we really all want the same thing, and that is to give these student athletes uh, this amazing experience, regardless of what campus they're on or what venue they play in. And so it was really nice for us to be able to work with and help New Mexico State out because I know they would do the same thing for us. We're only separated by about 35 miles here in El Paso and Las Cruces. We have to take a quick break. When we return, we'll delve into the impact COVID-19 had on both of these programs and how they're recovering. That's next on 9 on 9. Segment sponsored by El Paso Honda. Ashley Home Store's Labor Day sale is going on now. For a limited time only, save up to 30% off. Find this upholstered sofa, now only $349. Or get 0% interest for five years. Hurry in, you don't want to miss these savings. Only at Ashley Home Store. Make this the summer event at Dick Poe Chrysler Jeep. 0% financing and new Wranglers and Gladiators. It's the Jeep Wave. Three years of oil changes and tire rotations included with your purchase. Dick Poe Chrysler Jeep saves you money. Dick Poe Chrysler Jeep, 6501 Montana. New Mexico, we must all do our part to stay ahead of COVID-19. The Delta variant is at least two times more contagious than previous COVID variants, but our vaccines are working. You can help protect the lives of our children and our most vulnerable by getting vaccinated today. For the month of August, all New Mexicans who get the COVID-19 vaccine will be eligible for a $100 incentive. Opt in at vaccinenm.org slash stay dash ahead. More people trust Mattress Firm for a great night's sleep. This Labor Day, it's your turn. Get a king for the price of a queen and a queen for the price of a twin. Free adjustable base with select mattresses or save up to $700 plus $300 in bonus cash on select Tempur-Pedic adjustable sets. Find out why more people trust their locally owned Mattress Firm. Come in, call, or click today. Summer of possibilities in a new Chevy. Expand your options and your perspective. Find new summer adventures. Find new roads. Enjoy the open road and make no monthly payments for 90 days on select popular Chevy SUVs. Plus, get interest-free financing for 72 months when you finance with GM Financial. Chevy drives Texas. Find new roads. It's been a tough few years for American families, but things are looking up. Thanks to leaders like Veronica Escobar, who worked to pass a middle-class tax cut to help struggling Texas families. Now Americans are getting back to work, our economy's growing, and the middle class is getting stronger. The next step is fixing our aging infrastructure, rebuilding roads and bridges to improve our supply chain, to create more American manufacturing with American workers. Veronica's fighting for that, too. Working to ensure that America's future looks, well, beautiful again. The 2021 Ram is the Motor Trend Truck of the Year again. Make this the summer event at Dick Poe. 2.9% for 72 months on all 2021 Ram 1500s. Dodge Chargers or Challengers for only $2.99 a month or 0% for 72 months. Dick Poe Dodge Ram 1363 Airway. Don't miss Ashley Home Store's Labor Day Sale. This week only. Save up to 20% off. Plus, get 0% interest for 12 months. Or get 0% interest for 5 years. Only at Ashley Home Store. This is home. Segment sponsored by Oscar Leaser's Hyundai of El Paso. Battle of I-10, UTEP and New Mexico State playing for the first time since 2019 on Saturday in Las Cruces. Both athletic directors for UTEP and NMSU are with me. Jim Center for UTEP, Mario Mocha for New Mexico State. Mario, as we've discussed, this is the first time that you guys are hosting fans, um, or really hosting a football game and having fans at a game in a very long time, almost two years. Um, so since this is the first time in a while, what differences can fans expect at this year's game in terms of tailgating inside the stadium? Uh, what would you say to fans who are coming to Aggie Memorial this Saturday? Sure. Well, I'd remind them that it's a 730 game. You know, I-25 has got a little construction, so we want everybody to come early. Um, you know, uh, tailgate lots are going to open at 11. But I think you will find, since it's an outdoor game, um, that there is not a whole lot of restrictions that, you know, we've grown accustomed to from inside athletic contests. So you'll be able to tailgate. Um, you know, you'll be able to you'll be able to come in. You know, we'll have bag checks, things like that. Um, if you would like to wear a mask, you can. 
Uh, it is not a requirement to wear a mask. It is not a requirement to uh, you know, show a vaccination card or to be vaccinated. I mean, the reality is um, what I've been doing this past week is doing a lot of um, trying to you know, dispel some of the disinformation and get the accuracy out there. I think uh, everybody knows that Aggie Memorial Stadium has 30,000 seats. Those are, uh, I mean, we are not anticipating a sellout, so I think there's going to be ample opportunity for people to be able to come to the game. But if they want to socially distance themselves from some folks, they can do that as well. Or if they're vaccinated or what have you, they can sit with all of their friends, family, alumni, etc. So not a whole lot of big changes. Now, indoors, you know, whether you're in the press box or in some of our uh, premium areas, masks are going to be required. So that's... Um, uh, not a whole lot of changes, but just some subtleties, and we'll have people trying to remind everybody what the what the rules are. Jim, what's your message to UTEP fans planning on making uh, the trip, the second straight trip, by the way, that UTEP is having to make to New Mexico State to play football? Yeah, well, what I, what I would just say is we're open for business on our campus, and, and I know that uh, we want everybody to come out and help support this game and cheer for their favorite team. And you know, in Las Cruces, let's make this a great coming out party and a great event for everybody. And don't forget, you know, it's not just about our football teams and our coaching staffs. Uh, I'm talking about our bands and our spirit squads and our mascots. So there's a whole lot of people who add to the pageantry of college athletics and in particular college football. Uh, and, and so come out and support these kids. They're worthy of your support. It's going to be a great, uh, a great Saturday evening. And this is one of just five FBS football games on the docket for Saturday. Jim, a, a great stage to showcase this rivalry on a national stage, no doubt. It, it really is, and, and it's very rare that we get a chance to play in week zero like this. So I think it's just, uh, it's just terrific, and we're going to get a lot of notoriety and publicity because it's going to be a great game. Mario, you guys did this a couple years ago when Wyoming came to town. Uh, just what, what experience, quickly again, what experience did you take from that that you guys will use this week? You could tell uh, the audience is different because my, I got so many texts from my colleagues across the country that were watching. So, you know, a lot of people are going to be watching. Uh, what I think is really unique, and we did this um, for the San Diego State game in 2019, it's uh, going to be Hispanic Heritage Day. Uh, so we're going to have a lot of things before the game. You know, we'll have luchador wrestling. We're going to have mariachis. We're going to have food trucks. We're going to have giveaways, all that stuff before. Then when you come inside the stadium, you're going to see Keystone the horse, lead the team out. You're going to see striking the Wonder Dog, get the tee. Uh, and as Jim alluded to, um, you know, the, the Pride Band for New Mexico State will be there. The minor band will be there. You'll have both cheer squads, both dance squads. So there's going to be a lot of pageantry surrounding the game. So a lot of people focus on the game, and that's, that's why we're here. But, you know, for the person who's debating, man, should I really go? There is so much stuff surrounding the game. I think it's going to be well worth the cost of uh, uh, the ticket price. All right, well, we have to take just one more break. When we come back, I'm going to put these guys on the spot, get their predictions for the 98th Battle of I-10. And also, there's a little friendly wager between the two athletic directors. Don't go away. Don't miss a second of Cowboys preseason action. Watch the Dallas Cowboys countdown to kickoff show on Sunday at 10 a.m. Then the Cowboys face the Jaguars at 11 a.m. on KTSM 9. Your home for the Dallas Cowboys Blue Star Nation. Hey, Unlock a summer of possibilities in a new Chevy. Expand your options and your perspective. Find your next adventure in a new Chevy. Make no monthly payments for 120 days on all Silverado 1500 crew cab pickups. Plus, get 2.49% financing for 72 months. And get 3750 total value on this Silverado Texas Edition. Attention, active military, veterans, and contractors. There has been a link in defective combat earplugs and hearing damage in soldiers who served in between 2002 and 2016. You may be entitled to a cash settlement from the manufacturer. This is not a legal action against the military. If you've suffered from ear damage or been diagnosed with tinnitus while serving in the military between 2002 and 2016, call us now at 915-532-1111 and you'll be taken care of. Dentures? Healthy 32 Dental can help. For a limited time only, a complete set of dentures starting at $900 and optional mini implants to permanently retain those dentures starting at $800. Call us today. Healthy smile, healthy life. Need cash? Title Max offers two ways to get it. Get cash using your car title. Go to TitleMax.com, enter the car year, make, model. See how much you can get. Title Max also offers personal loans. 
No title required. Check out TitleMax.com when you need more cash. Check out TitleMax.com and shop us for rates. Get up to $2,500 with a personal loan or up to $10,000 using your car title. And you'll say, I got my title back with TitleMax. It's a title back with TitleMax. At Cons Home Plus, great deals happen every day. We've got the top brands to furnish every room in your home. Plus, with our personalized approach to financing, you can get low payments over time. During our big red tag sale, find red tag deals only at Cons Home Plus. They're here. You brought all these players in your Buick? Yeah, it has three rows. So you. Your Buick has Apple CarPlay. Where do I plug in? It's wireless. That's so you. What do I do with these? Careful, it's kind of busy. Oh, I got this with my superpowers. And a little help from your Buick. At the heart of every Buick SUV is you. Get $2,150 purchase cash on this Encore GX Preferred. Plus, current eligible Buick owners get 500 additional allowance. See your El Paso Las Cruces Buick dealers. KTSM's 9 Overtime, covering all the local players with highlights, scores, and game plans. Catch KTSM's 9 Overtime, sponsored by Expert HVAC and Refrigeration. Welcome back to 9 on 9. We're previewing the 98th edition of the Battle of I-10 between UTEP and New Mexico State. Joining me, the athletic directors for both institutions, UTEP's Gym Center, New Mexico State's Mario Mocha. Now, for you both, what excites you most about uh, this year's game from an on-field perspective? Mario, the, you're the host team. I will start with you. What excites me the most is actually having a game. <laughs> you know, it's been almost 650 days. Uh, you know, I, I know that our team, our coaching staff, our administration, our fans are all champing at the bit uh, to get out there and actually have a game because when you hear the band, playing when you smell the popcorn popping uh, there's that build up the highlight video and then the balls kicked off um, you know you just miss that uh, there there is a lot of hard work that you do on the practice field there's a lot of hard work and preparation that the coaches do that people don't see and there's a ton of work that the athletic administrators do but they all do that to showcase it in like a three or three and a half hour segment and that's actually the game so I just can't wait to kind of just experience it and drink it all in because uh, we just haven't had it in a long long time. Yeah, Jim what about you? Yeah you know I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to see our football team play obviously we all have to play against somebody you get tired of beating each other up in training camp but uh, I'm really excited about the veterans that we have coming back I'm excited about the new talent we added to our team we probably have more depth and uh, than we've had in, in a while and our athleticism has continued to increase so I'm really excited just to see those kids take the field and see what they can do against you know a live competition in a team uh, like New Mexico State in a great rivalry game it'll be a great evening I'm going to put you both on the spot here, starting with Mr. Center. What are your keys to victory for the Miners on Saturday? You're, you're a former college football coach, so I know you got a few of them. Yeah, well, gosh, that's really easy for me. Uh, it's scoring one more point than the opponent. Uh, <laughs> that, that, that's the keys to winning the game. But I will tell you, I, I, I'm, I'm a big believer in you've got to be able to run the football. If you can do that, you have a chance. All right, Mario, uh, you are you're a uh, college baseball player, so very qualified to answer this question. What are your keys to victory for the Aggies on Saturday? Yeah, I think there's three of them. Uh, keep the athletic director hydrated, and I'm talking water <laughs> pregame. Make sure the golf cart that I drive around in pregame does not run out of gas or battery power, whatever I get. And then uh, Jim kind of stole my line. If there's one more point for the Aggies, I'll consider it, uh, uh, you know, a big success. So, uh, uh, no, we're just happy to, to play the game. And uh, we're also excited to take a look at a lot of new players because we really haven't seen the players in quite some time. So uh, I think the Aggie fans will learn who our new players are and hopefully our budding stars. Last order of business here. We do have a little wager. Uh, this was the brainchild of the two athletic directors. You see my beard here. The winning team gets to shave either the UTEP logo or the New Mexico State logo into the side of the beard. This was not my idea, by the way. This was, this was all Mario and Jim. So you have them to, to blame if, you're, if your rival school is on my face here. Uh, guys, I want to thank you so much for joining us today uh, for 9 on 9. Again, the 98th edition of the Battle of I-10 will kick off at 7.30 p.m. Saturday in Las Cruces. KTSM will have your full coverage all day and night before, during, after the rivalry showdown. This has been 9 on 9. Have a great evening. Sponsored by Lachine Bias and Enderman Injury Lawyers.